Hey everyone, I just read Bones and All by Camille DeAngelis, and for a book about cannibalism, that was surprisingly dull. I'm disappointed. It's a book about a young woman who finds herself with a craving for long pork, and the young man who shares her particular appetites, who she meets on the road. The prose? It's a fun concept. It certainly sets itself apart from other young adult novels with its premise and its setting, and after reading through a bunch of them already for this channel, it was kind of a breath of fresh air. I liked Travis, mostly because he's such an unapologetic degenerate, but also because his wishes actually stood out as a little spicy compared to how milk toast the rest of the novel is. And it has a strong opening, I'll give it that. The cons? For a story about cannibalism, this book was surprisingly toothless and frustratingly bloodless. All the fun stuff happens off page and is never explicitly described, which is fine at the start of the novel, but by the end it just felt cheap. This is a slight spoiler, but the reveal that the cannibalism is fantastical in nature just cheapens the concept, especially when the so-called eaters don't even get any cool powers, they just eat people. I'm not at all surprised that this aspect of the plot was dropped for the movie. And aside from the implied cannibalism, it is the most YA book ever written. It hits every beat in order, there are no surprises because all the twists are obvious, and ultimately very little actually happens other than girl wanting boy but being unable to have boy because of some contrived reason that I've already forgotten for the sake of the conflict. I think I'm more frustrated with this book because the cannibal aspect could have set it apart from all the other young adult garbage I've read over the years, but it just doesn't do anything with its biggest strength, and ultimately I was left wanting more. Hungry, if you will. If you enjoyed the film you might find something to like here, but to be honest I thought they were about on par with each other. If you're looking for a gory young adult novel, this will not scratch that itch. But if you're after a macabre love story, I suppose you could do worse. And I'm giving Bones and All a C. Sorry. What did you think of the book? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're there, why not leave a suggestion for what I should read next? I promise I'll get to it eventually. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and share the video around. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.